guys, I am back with another Fashion Nova try on clothing haul and today's is dedicated to jeans. So I heard your requests, I filmed one other jeans dedicated Fashion Nova video before and it went off on my channel, it's done so well and ever since then you guys have been requesting non-stop to do another one so it's finally here so I hope you guys are excited. So if you've watched my other Fashion Nova videos and you know the drill but for any new faces who may have clicked on today's video, this video is sponsored by Fashion Nova. We collaborate on this content together every month so I just jump online, I pick out a bunch of my favourite things and I showcase them in a haul and share how they fit and my thoughts on them and everything. When it comes to sizing with Fashion Nova and their jeans, I'm pretty sure their sizing is unique to Fashion Nova. A lot of people always ask me what my size is in other US size jeans and I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm Australian so we don't have the same sizing as what the US does and I also don't own any other US based or American based jeans. However, all of my measurements are in the description box, so my height, my waist, my hip measurement and then because I'm a bit larger actually below my hips where my thighs are, I even have those measurements. I'm also going to link in the description box the size chart from Fashion Nova. So my number one recommendation is always to actually compare your height and your measurements to the actual size chart and go from there. All of the jeans are going to be linked in the description box as well and I think I've covered everything. Okay, so first off I'll start off with what I'm wearing. So this little tee is called Always Your Babe Tee. It is a size small and it was $14.99 full price. But remember, they always have discount codes guys, so just simply jump on their website, check their header or sign up for their mailing list and you guys can always get coupon codes like ranging from like 15 to 30% off. And then I have these these black jeans which are called the canopy jeans they're a size 3 every pair of jeans I got are a size 3 these are $32.99 total they're a black pair of jeans they are actually more jegging style these particular ones so they're quite stretchy they feel more cottony than they do denim and they have some cuts in the knees they are quite long so I'm only 5 foot 4 so I do have a little bit of bunching around the ankles but I don't mind I'm used to it they're incredibly stretchy, they're so comfortable to wear, like you can just move around so much in them, like you do activities, kick your legs about, you know, like they're not restricting in the slightest. They're super stretchy. They have back pockets. They are like considered a high rise, but they only just come to my belly button. I prefer jeans that sort of just cover my belly button, but I can handle this. This height is about the lowest I personally like wearing. I also forgot to mention that these black ones are Fashion Nova's own brand jeans. So they have their own brand jeans, but they also have other brand jeans. So obviously they're manufactured elsewhere, then there's some that are manufactured by Fashion Nova. So the next pair I have are the B's Knees Ankle Jeans in light wash, light blue wash. These are by I and M Jeans is what they're called. So they're an ankle grazer. Okay guys, so these are my type of jeans. So the B's Knees Ankle Jeans are $32.99 USD. They are a high rise denim, but these are so comfortable. So these are more of a true denim. So they still have a lot of spandex in them. So they're very stretchy. You can move around in them. You're not gonna be restricted at all. They're the perfect height. They sit just at my belly button. It has the small amount of distressing in the knees, which I like this, a very little amount of distressing. I think it looks cute. They also have on the ankles, they're um, a little zip, like it's a faux zip cuff on the ankle, which is a really cute little detail. And I like the fact that ankle grazers because I'm shorter, so it means I don't have any bunching and stuff like that. These jeans in particular look really nice with high heels. This is a size three as well, and they're not quite as tight as the last ones. So I would definitely wear a belt with these, but they're not like gaping. As you guys can see, it's still nice and flush to my back so it's not like they're gaping or anything they're just not quite as tight as some of the other size threes so the sizing of everything is pretty consistent across fashion over i've only come across one pair of jeans that haven't fit me and it's a white pair that i'll show you today that's a size three they're a little bit too small for comfort but um these fit really really nicely and these are, i think are probably like one of my favorites out of this entire 
try on haul for sure. I really love these ones. I'm just going to quickly show you this other little crop I got as well. This is a Sweet Times crop tank. It is black and size small. This is a really cute little tank. The reason I like it is because although it's still a crop top, it's a longer crop top, so there's not too much midriff showing when you wear it. I like midriff tops, but I only like very little midriff showing. So this is sort of like the best length for me. And then same with fitted ones. I still like them a little bit longer. So I'll quickly pop this on and show you this one. So this is a little top and this is exactly how I envisioned pairing it with a pair of jeans with a pair of like ankle grazers, cute strappy heels, a nice little black belt and then a cute little crop top. I think it looks really nice with these jeans actually. Okay, so next up we have the Lux High Waist Skinny and I got them in medium blue and they're $34.99 US. These are also by, oh no, they're Fashion Over ones. I thought they were a different brand but no, they're Fashion Over ones. They're size three as well. Oh yeah, these are so nice. So while I've just got both jeans side by side, here's the color difference. So what I'm wearing right now is a light wash and then these are a medium blue denim that I'm holding. So let's get these on my body. Now this is what I'm talking about. So these are high-waisted, super high-waisted actually. The pockets in the front are fake so you don't have real front pockets does have real back pockets though. They feel like a bit more on the denim side than they do jegging side. They are kind of like slightly cottony feeling. However, they're not as stretchy as the last two pairs. These I think have like the least stretch out of all the ones I have in today's haul. They still fit perfectly though and they're not uncomfortable by any means. Like I can still move around freely and then they're just not quite as stretchy that's all. So they're a bit tighter on my thighs and stuff like that. But I'm okay with that. They fit across my waist perfectly while still catering for that little extra bit of weight I have in the tush. And they just, they feel great. I don't think I'll need to wear a belt with these ones because they sit up like above my hips. So they're nice and secure. They're not going to like fall down or anything like that. And these look really good too. They look very flattering on my figure. I feel like when they're nice and high waisted, they accentuate like the curves. So yeah, but these are really comfy. I like the color denim. I feel like it's dark, but not too dark. Um, yeah, so not really much else to say about them. They're a little bit longer in the length yet again like the black ones, but that's pretty standard for me with jeans because I'm only five foot four. And yeah, that's them. Next up, I'm going to be trying on the Precious Fit High Waisted Jeans and these are a dark denim. So this is what they look like next to the medium colored wash denim I'm currently wearing. These feel, oh, they're so stretchy. Like look at that stretch. Oh, I cannot wait to get these on my body. These ones are $39.99. Oh, girl. No, these are the best so far. These are hands down the best out of all of them so far. So they're just, they're very fitted, but they're very stretchy. They have real pockets in the front and the back, so they're like actual jeans. However, when you feel them, like to feel, they feel kind of cottony, but they're quite thick. So I wouldn't say they feel like jeggings, but I wouldn't say they feel like denim. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a nice mix between the two. They feel very soft and they're so stretchy and just like really comfortable. Like even though they're suction tight, they're so comfortable. And I like the fact that the pockets in the front are, are real, a wheel. They are wheel. <laughs> um, and they're just, they fit really, really well. As you guys can see, I do have a little bunching around the ankles yet again. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's not too much fabric pulling at the bottom. And they just feel really comfortable on, and they're really nice style jeans. These definitely, I think, so far fit me the best out of all the jeans I've tried on. These are just really nice and snug while still being super comfortable. Like, I don't feel restricted in the slightest. I think they'll look really cute with a belt, you know, with anything because they're just really nice jeans and I feel like they look good on the tush, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so next up I have a pair of jeans which are called the Fast Engine Moto Skinny Jeans. They are black, they are size 3 and they are $32.99. These are a little bit different to any of the other jeans I've tried from Fashion Over before. So I have like um, a bunch of detailing on them, like... Um, I don't know what you would call it, like rib detailing. It's got the same sort of rib thing on the back. 
So yeah, I'll pop these on and I'll show you guys. It's like a um, vintage wash black as well. So it's not like black black. It definitely has like a little bit of fading through the center of the legs. So I'll quickly pop these on. These are actually by a brand called American Bazzi. I don't know if you guys can see because my ring light. But um, these jeans are probably like my least favorite out of all of them. They're, they're stretchy, but they're not sort of... I don't know, like where the extra rib fabric is across the legs, it's kind of a little bit restricting and then it's not quite like tight enough across my waist for me personally. So I would definitely need to wear a belt. Then you guys know the drill, I don't like really low rise jeans and these are like a little bit too low rise for me personally. Um, all the pockets are real though in these particular ones. So you've got multiple pockets. You not only have like the normal front pocket, but you also have this sort of zippy pocket thing. And these are actually real as well. Like you can actually put your fingers in there. So I don't know what the point of having those real pockets is. It just kind of adds like a little bit of extra fabric sort of on the front of your legs that you don't really need. Like I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but it's kind of all bunching in that area. So I would prefer them just to be like just fake zips that don't actually open into anything. That would be better in my opinion. But yeah, that's them. So next up, I couldn't help myself even though they're low rise. Well, actually, I think they claim these to be mid rise. But anyway, I had to get a pair of flare jeans because flares are coming back in in various different style of pants, including in jeans. And these were the only ones that they had in stock. So these are called All The Flares. They're a dark denim, size three. These are by the brand Sneak Peek. I do have a couple other pairs of the Sneak Peek brand jeans and they're really nice. So I got these just to try on to show you guys. I actually love how they look. I feel like as soon as I put them on, I was just like, I'm so happy flares are back. I just know I probably won't wear them because they're low rise. And for me, it just gives me a little muffin top when I wear low rise jeans. Like if I sit down, as soon as I sit down, like I'm just gonna get a little muffin top. And like, I don't want that. Whilst if I wear high waisted jeans, I don't get that little muffin top, if you guys get what I mean. But other than the fact that they're low rise, these are just gorgeous. I feel like the flare on the leg is like the most perfect amount of flare. Like they're not too big, they're not too small. They fit the tush really well. The pockets are all real. The denim is a really nice color. I could definitely wear these with like a longer top. Like there's nothing stopping me from doing that. But I just feel like I probably... Even when I wear long tops, I still feel very subconscious about low rise pants. But these are the flares. I just had to get them to show you guys. I hope they get some high waisted flares in soon because I would live, die, breathe for these, but high waisted. I know I would. These also feel like a traditional denim as well. Like they're not cotton feeling in the slightest. They're not jeggedy feeling or anything. They are like a true denim. And they're still got a fair bit of stretch in them. So they obviously still have a fair bit of spandex in them because they don't feel restrictive or anything like that. So, but they still feel like real denim. So yeah. So next up we have the Don't Chew Skinny Jeans in the medium wash. These are $29.99 and they're by the I&M brand again as that first pair of light blue denim jeans. So same brand as that. Now um, these look pretty similar to the photo. They look a little bit darker in person compared to the actual photo. So these aren't as stretchy as some of the other pairs but they still do have like a fair amount of stretch to them. They feel like a traditional denim though. They don't feel jegging-ish at all. They have just like some nice rib detailing, nothing too over the top. The knees on mine are pretty ripped. In the pictures her knees aren't as ripped as mine are but that's okay. I don't mind having some ripped knees in my jeans. They bunch a tiny little bit at the ankles, nothing major, but overall they fit pretty well. Like they're nice and snug on my waist, don't feel like they're going to fall down or anything like that. They have real pockets, if I didn't already say that, in front and back. And yeah, they're a really nice fit. They're just, I just wish they were a tiny bit higher waisted and then I'd be really happy. Um, but you guys get the gist. I don't personally love um, lower rise jeans, um, but I still wanted to get a bunch of different ones so you guys could see them on because not everyone loves high waist jeans either. So that's that pair. Um, sorry if I'm a little bit flat. I'm actually all of a sudden feel really sick. So I'm kind of like dying right now. Um, so I'm just going to quickly wrap this up. But this last pair are the pair of white jeans that don't fit me that I mentioned earlier. So these are the tighty whitey distressed skinny jeans. Now when they say tighty whitey, they are tight. So when I was trying to put them on the other day, 
I wanted to stop because I thought I was going to pop the zip open when I was trying to pull them over my thighs. They do have a fair amount of stretch in them, but I don't know what it was about them. I think maybe because it's got rips and stuff around the top part of the leg. They look like really cute jeans. My sister, she's actually, she's lost a lot of weight. Um, she's smaller than me now, and she wears like a size one or a size zero, and she fits these perfectly, and they fit really nice on her. So she's gonna be getting these jeans because I literally, like when I was putting them on, I was too scared to pull them up and try and zip them up because they just, they were so tight. And when white jeans are that suction tight, they can be see-through, so I have no doubt they would have been see-through on me if I hadn't been able to get them up. But that's them. These are Fashion Over brand ones as well. They look really nice though, like the style of them. They're $37.99. They feel, they feel more on the jeggings side of things, um, but still denim-y, if that makes sense. And they have like some really nice rip detailing on the legs and everything. So sorry I can't try those ones on for you, but they just they just would not fit so <laughs> that is all the jeans i have to show you guys in today's video i tried to get a little bit of everything in different colored denims and stuff just so i could give you guys like a good review of all the different types of jeans so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to thumbs it up for me if you haven't subscribed yet you should definitely do that before you leave thank you so much for watching to the very end and i'll be talking to you all really soon bye